Welcome to CAD Tutorials and in this video I'll be covering practice problem 9.4. Now given these two sunny swords, we are asked to change them into phases. So just a reminder, a phaser is a complex number which shows the amplitude and phase of a sinusoid. So now a phaser is a complex number which shows the amplitude and phase of a sinusoid. So we are only interested in an amplitude and a phase. And this is the basic representation of a phaser. So given these two sinusoids, we are asked to convert them into phases. So what you do, if it's not in cosine form, what you do is you first convert it into cosine form. Now, now that this first one is in cosine form, what you basically do is you just take the amplitude and the phase so that it matches this particular configuration. So for A, our answer is simply 7 and an angle of 40 degrees not forgetting the units. This is all from here. We just took this amplitude as well as this phase, and that is basically how you convert that into a phaser. Now for this one, we first have to convert this into a cosine, and this is basically how we do it. To transform a negative sine into a cosine, we add 90 degrees to the current angle, or to the current argument, right? So it's gonna become four, cos 10t plus 10 degrees plus 90 degrees. So the resulting angle here is 100. So i is equal to 4 cos uh, 10t plus 100 degrees amperes. So then to transform this into a phaser, we do the same thing as we did in part a. So just take the amplitude. So i is equal to 4 now we input the angle, which is 100 degrees, not forgetting the units. So this is all for this question, and this is how to transform a sinusoid into a phaser. First, transform it into cosine form, and then take the amplitude and the phase. 